Hi guys and welcome to the show and today we're going to be taking a look at NATO straps, the kind of things you need to look out for in getting a good quality one. Also my personal recommendations of where to buy. First of all we'll go over the basics of the NATO strap. Now this is not to be confused with the Zulu strap. The Zulu strap, uh, here's an example of a Zulu strap. Basic difference is this is three rings and has not got the five rings of a Zulu strap and also this kind of extra part that goes under the watch to, to fasten it more securely. We'll cover Zulu straps hopefully in the future but today we're looking primarily at the NATO strap. Now the NATO strap was invented by the British military. They wanted something cheap uh, that was easy to produce, something that was waterproof, that had a wider range of extendability and also the main reason is to attach it more securely, uh, the watch, to the to its user in, in case of a spring bar failure. Now what I mean by that, if we quickly, if I quickly just install a NATO strap, you'll see exactly what I mean. So you take your watch, in this case we have the Zin 104, just give it a quick wipe there. And I apologize about the New York noises in the background, but we'll carry on how we do we just carry on so as you see it's attached already on one side now for example's sake let's let's suppose that this was attached to my wrist and this spring bar here failed it would still be attached to my wrist so obviously in a, in a military situation where you really are dependent on time and your timepiece uh, it's not going to happen and then of course there's this under strap which even secures it even more gives it e even better kind of more secure fit to to your wrist so really secure and probably the most secure way to uh, to fasten your wrist now this is a really I just happened to pick the gray one just because it was the first one in line but it really does suit the Zin 104 beautifully so let's look have a little closer look at uh, a NATO strap and look, let's see the kind of things you'll want to actually we'll look at the blue one because it's going to be a bit easier to see but what you want to uh, look for in a, in, a, in a NATO strap is you want to always make sure you get one that is stitched not glued down because the stitching just indicates a better level of quality in its production and also stitching is far more uh, solid and secure than just simple glue. Then also look at the the actual holes themselves. Now, sorry, I apologise about the focus. It is pretty hard to do. Are we going to focus? Yes. Here we go. If you see where the holes have been punched, there is a slight kind of just a little bit of glue applied just to keep the. Um, if I show you on this Zulu, this is very old. And what happens after a lot of use? This phrase. Now this is because it hasn't been glued down. So. If you look at the, the the NATO strap I have here, these new ones I have in, they've been glued around the edge. This one hasn't, so it will stop the fraying. Now, obviously, NATO straps are traditionally made out of nylon, which is another thing that the British military wanted specifically uh, it to be because it is obviously water resistant and, uh, and the benefit to the user in, in civilian capacity is obviously you can wash these, which is which is really cool. Uh, if I show you, if I show you, this is one of my favourites. Uh, this one is really dirty and it needs a bit of a wash, so I, I am going to wash this one. Now, where to buy them? Now, this is a question I get a hell of a lot on the channel. And recently, I came into contact with a company based in San Francisco, it's the Wrist Candy Watch Club. And their website is wristcandywatchclub.com, and I'll leave a link down below. And they're very kindly to send some samples. And just like anything on the show, if it doesn't meet meet my specifications, if if I'm not, if I don't approve the quality, uh, the price, the service, then I'm not going to endorse it. It's simple as that. I'm not paid to endorse anything, so it's it's vital for me that uh, the service they produce, the quality of the product is is top notch. And I'm really happy to say that. You know, I I really do like these NATO straps. I think they're fantastic. They've even They've even glued it on the edge, on the end, which is a nice touch, so it's not going to fray on the end. The nylon is nice and thin. It's a softer nylon than I'm used to, which is fantastic because it's even more, 
It's even more luxurious on the skin. I, I, I really like this choice of nylon. And as you see, it passes all my, it passes all my uh, quality standards. Stitching here, the glued little hole, the holes are glued down. The fit is fantastic. If you've got smaller wrists, these will do you perfectly. Smaller, medium, larger wrists, it will, it will work for all. And of course they have a fantastic variety of colors. These are the ones I chose. Uh, for the moment and you'll notice there's a few blue ones in here and that is because I am indeed buying back my uh, beloved Squale 1521 so in, in anticipation for that I've got some blue ones in as well but let's have a look at some some color choices of, of, of current watches first of all you'll notice I've put this beautiful sand colored one on the Squale 1545 Heritage and I think it really works with with this with this brown with this uh, burgundy browny uh, gold bezel with a watch like this that because it's fairly kind of the, the colors are fairly strong you want to dress it down um, if you put it for example with something a little bit more garish I think it would clash so this is a really good example of, of a watch that you want to dress down I think that really works and I think it were, it, it would work with black it would work with brown obviously, definitely brown, definitely black, definitely grey as well. So with, with kind of brighter colours that's what you want to, you want to stick to. Uh, and the complete opposite of that, if we look at my Speedmaster first, first Omega in space, this is more simple, There's just it's literally just black and white. With, a, with something like this, I like to dress it up and do the opposite as I've done with this piece. So something with some stripes. Now, not everybody's going to like this, but just to give it some extra flavor, some extra character. Uh, so I think um, this particular is kind of a, it's like a goldy sand colored uh, yellow with black. And I think it really works. I think it really works. So, so with the Speedmaster, I've decided to do the opposite and dress it up. Now with the Zin here, uh, this pretty much works with everything, but um, let's see what it looks like on something a little bit different. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk here, and I'm gonna go with this olive green and orange. Let's see how it goes. So installing them, I haven't even taken the plastic off this one. Buckle always on the top. Thread it through the top one, and and I must say the Zin is works fantastic. Look how much space you got to play with. Zin really works with uh, NATO straps. Then the tongue goes through there, and then finally through the little extra thing. And you want to sit it, this needs to move up a little bit. Just move it up a tiny bit. There we go. So you want to sit it kind of equidistant between these two. So there we go. And I think I think that kind of works. I, I think with the black simplicity, I, I think it does. It's a it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, yeah. It's it's yeah. With the simple, with the minimalist zin, I think it does work. Yeah. So okay. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. So yeah, I think those are my um, my kind of color options at the moment. Um, obviously, there's a whole bunch more of more colors available but basically guys if you stick to those basics uh, you know make sure if, if you don't order from wrist wrist candy just you know look out for those characteristics of the stitching and the glued holes and you know make sure that the, the nylon is of a decent quality uh, I'm, I'm always make sure it's nylon of course and you can't go wrong but if you want my recommendation I recommend wrist candy watch club uh, they have fantastic service. At the moment, it's just delivery to the United States. They are going to be doing international delivery, but it's a new company. Really nice guys. Um, they were very kind enough to send me some samples. Uh, fantastic service. And I completely recommend them. So if you support this show uh, and you're, you're a follower of, the, of my channel, this is where I recommend to go. So please show them some of that urban gentry love and respect and please order your NATO straps from here and of course you know this is just the tip of the iceberg they have a whole bunch more colors available uh, different patterns and, and uh, but I just got this little selection in just to start with and, and I will be doing more videos oh and by the way 
they also do purlons, which are completely new to me. So I, they've sent me beautiful selection of purlons. I will be doing a purlon video very, very soon. And uh, you can already tell that the, uh, the purlons are fantastic. So w stay tuned for, for my purlon video which is going to be very exciting. I'm, I'm really excited about that because I can't wait to try it on with my different watches. But anyway, wristwatch, wristcandywatchclub.com address is down below. Please show them some love and tell them that uh, tell them that you were referred to by me. I r would really appreciate that, guys. So for all your NATO pearl on strap needs, this is my recommendation, guys. These wristcandywatchclub.com Okay guys, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.